But do you think, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I apologize, Kara. Do you, do you think it'll be a, a currency? Do you think it'll be a currency that'll be widespread? Or do you think it's just going to be a store of value like, like gold? Yeah, I think, I think 2019 we'll start to see um, governments come on board and launch their own cryptocurrencies. Uh, Dubai, for example, uh, by 2020, they will have uh, their entire, their initiative is to, ha to have, their, have their entire government on blockchain. That is a stunning statistic, you know, a goal that you talk about there. Governments on the other side are talking about some of the security problems, not just with theft, but with terrorist organizations being able to use it, uh, drug traffickers, because it's anonymous, because it's untraceable. How are governments working on that? piece of the security issue. Yeah, so I think once you do make it secure, then you don't you don't have to have it anonymous, right? You can have governments part of that um, uh, bigger picture. And when you bring in banks and governments into this cre um, uh, cutting edge technology, mm -hmm. it goes a long way, right? But we have, I think that's also another pr prediction that we'll see here in 2019. We'll see a lot of alliances. So we'll see government sector coming in together, different exchanges and uh, cybersecurity companies coming together to make it a much better, a tighter technology. Mm -hmm. What is your best guess as which cryptocurrency makes it? We so this is actually really interesting. And I do believe in 2019 we will have hopefully some sort of a rebound. It could stay in the bear market. But you do want to see this security issue addressed. And also governments accepting cryptocurrency and being friendly with cryptocurrency. And they were mentioning how Dubai and uh uh, other countries are going to begin to adopt not only just the technology to make their government more efficient, but at the same time, if they're fostering this innovation and growth, uh, we are going to see a recovery in the prices. So um, I know that Bitcoin got crushed in 2018 and uh, it's looking bleak. And like I said, we're still not out of a bear market. So uh, obviously it's always good to buy the dip and I would cons highly recommend a dollar cost averaging, but at the same time, you got to be careful. We're in a bear market, so that means you know the bottom at three thousand may not be the the bottom. And I have posted another video where it could hit fifteen hundred, but eventually, I do see it as a great place to invest, especially if these trends that they're mentioning, the cyber, the the security issues, you know, fixed. The, this whole BS about you know drug trafficking. I mean, they use cash. Pablo Escobar, any major drug dealer uses cash. So that that I'm not going to even debate about that. But also just uh, the government's accepting it and using it. And I do believe, as you see this, then it makes a lot more sense to buy in to the bottom or to start uh, accumulating more crypto assets. And you're not sure what currencies are going to be there. If it, is it going to be Ethereum, Ripple? Uh, Cardano, it's it's too hard to tell. So, you know, time is on your side and obviously diversification is, is the way to go, but understand these different coins and assets and what they're going to do with the government. Educating yourself will really help you get ahead to buy in at the right price and to avoid uh, another, uh, obviously I feel like I uh, was a little too aggressive at the 6,000 price point and even at 10,000 I was buying because I thought that that was it. That was the, the dip and uh, just be careful and let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.